Good morning and welcome to Be Fit Live. It is Workout Wednesday, not Motivation Monday. But so we are here with Be Fit Ambassador Roy Montez and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry, and they are going to take you through a live workout. So I hope you're ready to put in some work with them. Roy? Oh, thank you so thank you so much, Leah. Uh, Sergeant Berry, how are we doing today? Good, Roy. Halfway good, through good. the week, so it's good. Exactly. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, midweek. It's time to push through. I know. I know we were uh, we weren't here on on Monday, so this is the Wednesday. This is the midweek push. This is the time to set some time aside for yourself and uh, just get, you know push down and and get through the week here. I want to shout out to my partner, uh, Senior Master Sergeant Barry for being here with me. Uh, workout partners are very much important to a workout routine regimen and to help you stay consistent and dedicated on those times when uh, things get tough and you may not be 100% a workout partner such as Sergeant Barry here uh, helps me, uh, keeps me motivated, keeps me on track and helps me through my workouts. Uh, so if you are ever in <clears throat> need of accountability of consistency help go ahead and find a workout partner for yourself a spouse a friend you know safely uh during this time and and get to it so <clears throat> with that today this wednesday we have a workout for you with with strength intervals so usually we hit uh, high intensity we have a heart rate elevated today we're going to bring strength interval training uh, this Wednesday. So we're going to be working 40 seconds on, uh, just like usual, 40 seconds on and 20 seconds of rest. We're going to go through four exercises. Two of them will be a repeat, and then we'll have one minute of rest in between four rounds, okay? 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises and four rounds uh, uh, in total. So <clears throat> to go through the four exercises uh, briefly, our first exercise will be a single leg balance with resistance row. So single leg, meaning we are gonna balance and we're gonna balance on one leg, left leg on our first exercise, right leg on our third exercise when we get to it. And we are going to uh, elevate your rear leg all the while shifting your weight onto your forward leg, counterbalance with your arm and simulate a row here. So this is gonna, you're gonna really feel this one, guys. You're gonna feel a lot of, uh, a lot of activation in your glute and your posterior chain with your hamstrings down to your calves, down to your ankles with stability and balance. A uh, second exercise is going to be the half kneeling shoulder press. So we're gonna do this for 20 seconds, left leg half kneeling and 20 seconds on your right leg. So we're gonna take a knee here on our right or left leg. We are gonna press up with our shoulders 20 seconds with our left, and then we'll alternate and left knees down, right leg up, and our right hand will be pressing up to the sky with resistance. Speaking of resistance, I have two dumbbells here, different weights, and I have an, uh, a gallon of water here. So anything around your house with a handle works out great for rows, like in our third exercise. So first exercise, we hit our left leg was down, our third exercise, we are going to have our right leg down, our left leg up, and we are going to row with our right arm here. So whichever leg is down onto the ground making contact, that's the side that you're going to row on. The same with your, your half kneeling shoulder press. Whichever knee is down, whichever knee is up here, your left leg is, is up, so your left arm is going to be pressed into the sky here. And finally, to cap off today's workout, we're gonna activate our, our core here with some high plank shoulder taps. So again, we're gonna assume the high plank position here and then we will keep that core nice and tight, glutes, glutes nice and activated here, nice and contracted. And we are gonna slowly raise our right hand to our left shoulder and our left hand to our right shoulder here, alternating at your pace, at your comfort. All right, so with that, <clears throat> That's gonna be the workout for today. But before we get started, we're gonna go into some dynamic stretching. So let's go ahead and clasp our hands together. 
and uh, let's get to work here with some dynamic stretching. Okay, left knee, left knee up, and squeeze to the chair, dynamic stretching here. We're gonna alternate left leg, left knee, right knee here. What we wanna do is stretch out the body, stretch out the, um, <laughs> while I fall over here. Uh, let's keep that balance here. Keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Squeeze and you should feel some stretch here on your hip flexors, your glutes, a little bit of the lower back here, just to kind of get you nice and warmed. The idea here is to keep us, to get us ready to work here, ready to work. All right, let's, let's go into some arm circles here. We'll start off small and then we'll go larger. Since so we're gonna be down in the plank position and doing some shoulder work, let's get those rotators, rotator cuffs nice and loose here, nice and warm. All right, once you're comfortable there, let's go ahead and rotate backwards. All right, nice, from small to larger, small to big. Get those shoulders nice and warm here. All right, good, good. Let's go ahead and go into some air squats here since we're gonna be working some legs here. We're just gonna knock out about 10 to 15 reps here of air squats to get your body, get your body nice and loose, nice and warm and ready to work. Let's go at your pace here. I'll hit three more here, three, two, one, good, good. Let's shake that out and let's go into some inchworms here. So we are going to walk this out. Let's bend all the way down to touch our toes. Slowly crawl out into a high plank position since this is where we'll be in exercise four. And walk all the way back in here. All the way up. And that's one. Let's go ahead and do five here. Slowly walking all the way out here into that high plank position. And you'll walk all the way back here. Two. Three. All right, and enough of these and this could be a workout in itself. <laughs> there you go, four. Let's roll out. Last one here. All right. Five. Okay. That's good for me, Sergeant Barry. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm nice and warm, nice and ready. Ready to go here. Let me go ahead and set my timer here. Now's a great time to grab some water. Towel off if you need. All right, 10 seconds away here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my first uh, resistance here with a gallon of water. And we will go into single leg balance with resistance rows. Long name, simple exercise here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my resistance here. Left leg's down, right leg about six to 12 inches off the floor here. You're gonna have your arm, opposite arm for counterbalance. And you want to just go ahead and roll up with that resistance here. You're going to feel that you're going to feel that left leg down, wanting to move, wanting to shift inside with your knee. Let's go ahead and resist that. Keep that core nice and tight. This is what it looks like from the front. Keep that core nice and engaged here. All right. I'm flying here, two, one, and rest for 20 seconds here. Okay, we're gonna go into a half kneeling shoulder press. Up next, right knees down, left knees up, weight in your left hand, pressing in five. Three, two, okay, let's press. Again, we wanna make sure that our shoulder extends nice and tall here. 
keep that resistance strong, keep your core engaged. Through all of these workouts, you wanna engage your core for stability. We've been sitting for too long. This is a great way to strengthen those core muscles here. 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and rotate from right, left arm, left, le uh, left leg up, left hand up. And let's keep pressing here to your comfort, to your level, to your pace. We're chasing the clock here, not reps, so we want good quality reps. Three, two, and time. All right, two exercises down here, 13 seconds of rest here, and we're gonna go into that left leg balance here. So our right. All right, I have my right leg down here. So let's go ahead, right leg down, left leg's back and let's row whichever leg was down first. Let's go ahead and alternate. Again, you should be about 45 degrees. Chest is forward, head is in a neutral. You want your spine to be in a neutral position. Straight line here. Focus on that lat, pulling all the way at the top while focus on, focusing on balancing, keeping that knee nice and tight and, and a soft bend, might I add. Five more seconds of work here. Three, two, one, and time. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. And we'll go into a high plank with shoulder tap. Okay, here we go in five seconds. High plank shoulder taps here. Three, two, one. All right, let's work. Hands and feet are both shoulder width apart here. Right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. Tap, tap and go here, tap and go. Keep your core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Your navel should contract back towards your glutes. Speaking of glutes, keep those glutes nice and tight. You want a relatively straight line from your neck down to your, down to your spine, tailbone, all the way back down to your ankles here. Five more seconds of work here. And time. All right, let's go ahead and towel off, grab some water, stay hydrated. And we have one minute of rest here before we start our second round here. Okay, I just wanna remind you guys, if you are just tuning in, you are tuning in to the BeFit Live. We do these every single week with our BeFit ambassador, Roy Montez, and then also his guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. If you have any questions for Roy or for Sergeant Barry, you can leave those in the comments and I'll read them out loud throughout the broadcast. Thank you so much, Leah. Again, yes, we mix up our workouts between hit style, between strength training intervals, all the while since we know we are condensing our workouts into less than 20 minutes, we are working multiple muscle groups at a time here. And with that, five more seconds of rest, we'll go into that single leg balance. My left leg's down. My right leg is back counterweight with my right arm and I'm rowing here. Again, if you have dumbbells, it doesn't take a lot of weight here to add resistance, to add pressure to your body where you're forcing it to stabilize here. So all my weight is on my left leg here. My glutes, my posterior chain right here on my left leg is activated and burning here. So. Again, we're pressed for time, so we're getting some pull action in, as well as some stability and some balance. Three more seconds, two, and time. Good work, good work. 20 seconds of rest here, and we'll go into that half kneeling shoulder press. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my dumbbell. Nine more seconds here. My left knee's up, my right leg's down. I'm gonna press with my left shoulder here. And let's work. All right, guys. I know Sergeant Barry is working with the plate here. I'm working with the dumbbell. This round, progressing up here. So five seconds in, I'm gonna switch and alternate. And two, one, here we go. Right leg up, left knee down <clears throat> with our shoulder 
being a smaller group, muscle group than our back here, we're working 20 seconds at a time. So we should hit just about, depending on your pace, 10 to 12 reps. Where's that row and time? 20 seconds of rest here. <clears throat> Whereas the row, we're working it for a full 40 seconds with our back being one of the largest muscle groups in our upper body here. 10 more seconds of rest here. Single leg balance here. All right. Left legs down, right legs up. Counter balance out here. And Roy, are you doing a slight bend at your knee? I am. We're have, we have a soft bend here on the knee that's down here. Great question here. Soft bend at the knee. We're slightly bent, hinged at the hips, bent over, chest is up, head is in that neutral position. Focus on one spot to keep that balance. Force your knee not to pivot. You don't want it to slightly move inside towards your right side here. And time, good work. 20 seconds of rest here. And then we're into high planks to finish off round two. This really is a full body workout. I can feel it. <laughs> Arms and legs. Absolutely, absolutely. And all of these, again, you'll feel two, one, let's work. 40 seconds of shoulder taps here. And so with all of these exercises, you're having to engage mus multiple muscle groups at a time. So you're gonna feel it throughout your whole body here. Again, <clears throat> and if you need to regress here, let's go ahead and drop down to the knees and go ahead and shoulder tap. And if you're not a fan of shoulder taps, go ahead and just hold that high plank position here. 13 seconds left here. <clears throat> Keep that core nice and tight. There you go. Nice and engaged. Three, two, one, and time. <clears throat> And so the idea with that high plank is you don't want to sway your body. You don't want to drop your hips. Don't want your hips to come up too high into a pike position. You want to keep your body nice and level and nice and contracted. 40 seconds of rest here. So even though our tempo... <laughs> right. So even though our tempo may be a little slower than let's say last week, our effort is still consistent and we are still isolating muscle groups that we need to utilize and there are basic foundation uh, muscle groups <clears throat> that will take us through to next week and the following week and throughout your daily activities here. That's one minute of rest here. Let's go ahead and roll into that single leg balance. My left leg is down, my right leg is up. Let me give you a front angle here. There you go. If you need, if that right leg needs to come down a little bit and just rest on the floor. Just slightly tapping that floor, that's fine as well. <clears throat> that left leg is burning right now. It is activated. It is trying to correct. It is trying to balance. We're asking a lot from this leg that's on the ground right here while activated and strengthening our lats and time. Good work. <clears throat> Good work. Half kneeling, half kneeling shoulder press coming up. Stick with the dumbbell here. My right leg is down. My left knee is up. Dumbbell is in my left hand, racked up top, and I'm pushing for 20 seconds here. At your pace, at your comfort. <clears throat> if you have a water bottle or a gallon of water or anything with a handle, laundry detergent, this works perfect as well. Three, two, one. Let's switch legs here. Weights down in front of me. Assisting it up to the high rack position here. And then I'm pressing here. Your free hand, if it's comfortable at your waist, that's a great location. I like to keep mine at my chest. Four, three, two, 
14 more seconds of work here. There we go. Good work, Sergeant Barry. Three, two, let's finish it off. One and time. Good job. All right. All right, Sergeant Barry, let's go into these taps. Three, two, oh. one. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. We're into, I'm, I'm cruising along here. We're into that single leg balance row. My left leg is down. My right leg is up. There we go. Way to row. Keep rowing here, nice and strong. Two. Good work and time. Go ahead and rest for 20 here. All right, good work. Okay. Looks like I got excited. I'm a little off on my time here, Sergeant Barry, excuse me. So we're gonna go into that <laughs> high plank shoulder tap. I got excited, I was moving. Let's get down into that shoulder plank position here. And we got 40 seconds of work here. All right. Limited rest here. Again, if you want to strengthen this exercise and you want to make it more complicated, then go ahead and limit your rest here. Limit the amount that your body has to recover. Keep that heart rate up and you'll challenge yourself that much more here. All right, keep going here. Let's try not to sway here. 10 more seconds. Five, keep pushing. And time. And because we're gonna keep our heart rate up, Sergeant Barry, we're rolling in in 20 seconds here or less. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my second dumbbell here. All right, left legs down, right legs to the back, left arm is rolling. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and work on that stability. Keep that knee and ankle. Try and keep that balance here. I see my body wants to try and correct itself. Keep strong here. 13 more seconds. Activating those lats here with this row. Glutes are on fire. Posterior chain, my hamstrings are feeling the burn here. And time. Good work. Eight 20 seconds of rest here, and we will go into that half kneeling shoulder press. Grab some water if you need, 10 more seconds. All right, my right leg is down. My left knee is up, dumbbell in my left hand, racked up top, and we're pressing for 20. Last round here, let's go ahead and push through, last set, best set. Nice. Full extension, five seconds and we'll rotate. We'll switch to the other side and let's rotate here. Let's switch nice and quick, back up top, racked up top. Again, my right knee is up, my left knee is down. Weight is racked and I'm pressing. I have a dumbbell again, but you can use a plate. You can use a gallon of water, anything with time anything with resistance weather and time. <laughs> 14 seconds of rest here. And that single leg here, single leg. My right, my right leg is down, my left leg is back. Right knee is down, so I'm rowing with that right arm. There we go. 
40 seconds of work here. I see my body wanting to adjust, trying to find that balance. Let's try and keep that back leg nice and straight. Let's not let it cross over to the other side. We need to rest it on the floor, tap that floor, tap that ground. 12 more seconds of work. Forcing our bodies to activate smaller fibers here with that balance. Two, one, and time. <laughs> 20 seconds of rest here. All right. Again, last and final round, last and final set. Go ahead. Two, one, I'm down. High plank here. High plank with shoulder taps. Let's go ahead and push through. Neck, spine, all the way down to our tailbone and our ankles are in a relatively straight line. Our glutes are nice and contracted here. Again, our core, our abs are tucked in. Back to our navel, keep that, keep that core tight. If shoulder taps are becoming too much, let's go ahead and hold that high plank here. Eight more seconds. There you go, hold that plank. Three, two, one, and time. There we go, strength intervals here for today. <laughs> Again, just to recap here, we went through a single leg balance with resistance row as our first exercise on one leg with a row. We went into 20 seconds of work, both left and right arm on a half knee shoulder press to activate and strengthen those shoulders. Went into an opposite leg, single leg balance row with resistance here. So no matter what you had, whichever leg you started with on that first exercise, you do the opposite one on this third exercise. And then our fourth high plank shoulder taps here to really activate our core here, strengthen and work on stability as well as adding some advancement here with those shoulder taps. So again, full total body workout, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest, and one minute of rest in between each round. How are we feeling, Sergeant Barry? Yeah, really good. Honestly, that was one of my favorite workouts because I really love those single leg rows. I've never right? done anything like that and something I'll definitely incorporate. Absolutely, you know, and, and the weight doesn't have to be that heavy. You don't have to have that much resistance. Any workout can be uh, tough under the amount of time that you're putting onto your body, onto that specific muscle group. So just, just isolating and raising that leg just a little bit forces your body weight onto one limb instead of having that stability of two. So again, that, that's a bump up in, in a level of work right there that your leg is having to do. The same goes with the half knee shoulder press here. Since we, we, can, we can shoulder press all day from a standing position, we might get a little more sway and a little more rock here that we wouldn't want from pressing up. So if we go ahead and eliminate that sway opportunity by just taking a knee on that half kneeling shoulder press, then we, we, we take that, that allowance of sway out of our body here and just really have a solid foundation here to not sway and keep that shoulder press all the while since one leg is up, it is forcing our bodies to stabilize and to contract our core. And again, that's just added uh, time under tension for our core to be able to work. <laughs> so absolutely. This, no, this is one of my favorites as well, Sergeant Barry. Um, I've recently been doing, uh, have been incorporating the single leg balance row for about a month now or a little bit longer. And I, again, I thought it was a great additive to the workout. So I was excited to bring it here today to, to work on more strength intervals where we're not pushing, jumping so hard, so fast with HIIT training, but we brought it into an, an isolated location here. Well, we don't, you can see here, we don't have a lot of space. So if you're at home and you're working in a confined space, these are great movements to incorporate where you're not moving, you're not jumping, you're not raising your hands so high to the ceiling, maybe objects can uh, <laughs> have another workout partner. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> more the merrier. I, I think that goes to uh, a great workout partner. So if your pet wants to work out with you as well, by all means, they can keep you accountable as well. <laughs> and keep you moving. Now, you know, if you're walking a dog or a pet, you know, during these times, uh, you know, that's, that's getting, that's another additive, another bonus way to keep your body moving. You know, if, if these uh, workouts are, are a little bit much, then take your dog or pet for a walk. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure if we would walk mm -hmm. a cat here, but <laughs> it, could be, it, could, it, it could be arranged. And <laughs> oh, look at the kitty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Roy, I don't see any questions right now, but everybody watching, thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to see you back next week. Roy, any final words? Uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, I would just like to thank uh, everybody for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave them here in the comments below. We'll go ahead and include this workout as a recap on shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT, which, which is our exchange hub. And all of our past uh, previous workouts are gonna be uh, recapped right there as well. And as a new addition, you can find them as well on our YouTube page. So if you look at our YouTube uh, exchange YouTube page and our BFIT channel, We've added those, uh, those prior workouts to that channel as well. Um, along with the Exchange Hub, you can find articles on nutrition. You can find um, different types of workouts and different types of promotions as far as items on what, what you can find within our Express under our Healthier Choices program. If you're at our Express and you're looking for a snack on the go, uh, look for those green Healthier Choice tags uh, located on the shelf, on the aisles, surf through, and find anything from meat snacks to water, uh, hydration to keep your body uh, refreshed and refueled. Uh, and, and don't forget to visit our exchange restaurants. More than 1,700 uh, exchange restaurants offer better for you options. Uh, so if you need to dial in your calories, if you're looking for a higher protein and a lower carb, uh, visit each one of those restaurants and uh, they'll go ahead and take care of you. They have options available on their menu. So. You know, we're here to support you and, uh, and, and all of our military service members and uh, as well as I am as well. So uh, these workouts are enjoyable for me. And if you have any favorite workouts, uh, a favorite workout uh, or uh, exercise that you find that you just cannot live without, uh, drop, a, drop a note in the comments below and we'll include it in next week's workout. So again, uh, you know, if, if you wanna see a specific movement that you really enjoy and we wanna tackle it here together, uh, join me and uh, drop it in the comments and we'll include it in, in one of our future workouts. Excellent. Bye, you guys. Bye, Roy. Bye, Sergeant Barry. Thank you. Bye.